All right, listen. On May twenty fourth, Rob Quist is um, he's got to win this race. Well, he is uh, part of a special election in Montana. Like I said, what I've read and heard is that uh, the race is now down to uh, single digits. Um, he is running against a guy named Greg Gianforte. Maybe I'm uh, probably Gianforte. Uh, it is. This was a seat that Zinke, as you mentioned before, who was uh, the Interior Secretary, Ryan Zinke, filled. Um, Gianforte was basically saying um, that he was asked whether or not he would have supported the the bill that passed in the House the other day. The um, AHCA or whatever, the repeal of the Affordable Care Act. And a spokesman said, well, Greg needs to know all the facts because it's important to know exactly what's in the bill before he votes on it. So he's sort of implying they wouldn't necessarily. On that very same day, <laughs> apparently he was on a private conference call with lobbyists in Washington, D.C. This is uh, according to the New York Times. And he said that something slightly different. Like, you're really going to want to um, uh, support me on this uh, Montana election because, uh, well, here is uh, his, his pitch. I don't know what's in the bill, right, publicly is what he says. I, would, I wouldn't support it unless I knew what was in it. And then he gets on the phone with lobbyists literally moments later and says, you should get me into the House because I'm going to vote for it. Here he is. ...on Montana. Um, and the reason it has national significance is the votes in the House are going to determine whether we get tax reform done. Uh, sounds like we just passed a health care thing, which I'm thankful for, that we're starting to repeal oh. and replace. Oh. We're going to have to peel back these regulations to make it easier. Why? I'm I'm so shocked. That's completely opposite of what he had just said through his spokesperson. It's this sort of interesting pattern where Republicans are not totally honest about these health care votes. And uh, apparently he, uh, in this call, was asking the lobbyists to give $5,000 each by Friday. And that may have been, uh, well, Friday, maybe this week um, or maybe last week to scare off other Democratic money. Well, he didn't say Democrat. He said Democrat money. And um, he said, we've had over 5,000 individual people support the campaign financially so far, he said on the recording. Uh, the challenge is my opponent has over 30,000 contributors. Hmm. Not good. So there you have it. Um, I imagine that's not going to help him in Montana getting caught on tape, lying uh, about his position on that, uh, that bill. Hi, folks. It's Sam Cedar. You know me from just a minute ago. Listen, uh, we've had a problem on YouTube. Let me make a graphic uh, visualization. Uh, back in March, our revenue and the ads that were monetized was a lot, like here. And now, over the course of actually within a day into April, it's down to about here. Now, this is just a artist rendering, but that's basically it. Uh, we were uh, here, and now we're here. Uh, that's because of some uh, YouTube thing where advertisers were concerned on being on hate sites. And, of course, uh, we're a news uh, organization that sometimes talks about hateful people, and we got caught up in their algorithm. I thought it would be fixed by now. It's not. We need your help to keep giving you free content on uh, YouTube. Uh, we don't have the advertiser support that we had even back, you know, here. Um, so we're looking for your help. Go to our Patreon site. Give a couple of bucks. Literally, you could give a couple, and it would be very helpful. Head over there. Here's the link right here or down there. It's somewhere around here. Find it and go help us out. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the show.